A story of love, courage, and kindness is the perfect kind of story for young children, right? And even better that it's a true story. Janet Pogue Toll and Dusty Scott are here today from Galesburg. Janet wrote a book called Silas the Great House Cat, and then Dusty illustrated this sweet book for children. It's great to have you both here. Thanks for Thanks having us, Paula. Paula. Yeah. It's great to meet an artist and, a, and, a, and an author. <laughs> Gee, yeah. Look at that. And a kidney donor, you told me. Yes. I had to mention that because you're wearing a beautiful necklace. And I asked you about it. And you said, well, I donated a kidney, and so I got this necklace. <laughs> it's like, okay, wow. Yeah. Maybe that's your story. <laughs> um, so, Dusty, yes. how is it that you two got together to... to uh, build the story of Silas. I'm going to start with you. Okay, um, so uh, Janet and I met like 10 years ago. I worked for a family business as a carpenter and they hired us to do some work for them and over the years we've just known each other and luckily in that time my art business has is, is blossomed and, and I've been able to and, and I think Janet's been aware fortunately that and she ended up reaching out and, uh, and we just kind of connected from there. Uh, who is, who is uh, Silas here Janet? Well, he is a real cat. He's a, real, he's a black cat? He is a black cat. He's a cutie pie? Yes, and he was in pretty bad condition when he was six months old. He just wandered into one of our local historic homes in Galesburg. There's the picture on the back of the, yes. of the, of the house. Mm -hmm. the, the real house. Mm -hmm. And he, the owner was giving candy to children, and this little cat slipped in the door, and people inside said, well, this is a very nice little cat, but he seems hungry and dehydrated, you know. Oh. And uh, they turned to the owner and said, you know, we should feed him and let him stay for the night. And so the more, as, as time went on and over the winter, I thought more and more about this rags to riches. Yes. Even <laughs> Silas's veterinarian had a good chuckle over this because he just walked into a mansion and and uh, became the great house cat. And, and, and the story kind of culminates on Halloween. It does. Trick or treat night of all times. Right. Yes, and then we have, of course, a black cat. Yes. Which they're special. You know they're good luck, they're yes. not bad luck. <laughs> well, and I, as a, author and I have a background in animal rescue I didn't uh, make notes about you know any mention of him being black on Halloween mm -hmm. um, he's just a black cat that went in on Halloween but yes. the children don't it's not involved in the story uh, well, and so, did you already know how you wanted him to look, Dusty? How, do, how did you like, want these images to look of these, you know, we have the pictures of the children and Silas, and how did you know you wanted the character to look? Well, fortunately, Janet had actually done a ton of research and taken several photos and, and had uh, several, like, stanzas for me to look at, you know, and, and, and give me an idea. And then from there, I was able to take, uh, I mean, she had taken hundreds of photos at that point and looked through. Um, kind of her vision and then I was able to kind of explain to her what I thought would look best you know translated into um, watercolor paintings and um, from there I did tell her that I wanted to paint them all at one time to kind of treat them all as if they were one big painting so that way they they had a consistency in a flow. Um, the gal in the middle Janet <coughs> of that picture Ah, yes, that is uh, Amy Tropp. She is the one Amy. who bought the great house Got it. and really was very encouraging and supportive to me that I take on this little dream. Uh -huh. uh, I like to say ideas are like noses and we just, everybody <laughs> has one and, and they're all we, different. They're all different <laughs> and so few of them, they're all good many times, yeah. but they don't get done. And she encouraged me to do this and use the great house as a backdrop. Now, a lot of children don't know about this house, so this is a part of my uh, plan was to help children understand the house. With the, the book is beautiful, by the way. I, I like that hard cover, although there, there is a soft cover as well. Right. But, so it tells a, a, a history and then a story of a, of a cat, of an animal, which we all love. Mm -hmm. I mean, that always captures our hearts, don't you think, of children mm -hmm. Yes, as I well? think the, f the situation um, evokes feelings. Mm -hmm. um, we understand as we read, the children know the cat is a little timid and scared and he gathers his courage and all children grapple with these feelings. And I felt that really if the children in our community, just like any community that has an old house and maybe some history behind it, mm -hmm. if children are you know, taken back and forth past this house, if they look at this house and say, Mom, that's where Silas lives. That's cool. They mm -hmm. wouldn't be wrong because yeah. the builder of the house was Silas Willard, who helped establish the, the school system in Galesburg. So, well, uh, and it, it kind of near the end. I don't want to give away the ending, but <laughs> you know um, that uh, he was 
Silas is invited to stay, mm -hmm. right? Right. His dream came true in a magical way. Mm -hmm. It's just a sweet, sweet story. And where can we well, get the book if you're thinking, oh, you know, I'm going to get that for my kids or for my class? Well, um, I really uh, want people to support their local independent bookstores. Um, mm -hmm. Go down there and ask them. They can order it uh, for you or they can or you can order it off um, bookshop.org. Okay. and it'll come right to your home. It also is available in all the other booksellers out there online, cool. but don't forget your local no, independent never, never bookstores. For, no, when we say shop and support local, we definitely yeah, mean we that. Mean this. <laughs> so Dusty, you, have you done any book illustrations since? No, I actually, this is my, I mean, I normally paint oil and acrylics and do portraits and things like okay. that. And uh, so this is, uh, yeah, this has been a first for me. Well, so. how fun for you both uh, to get together in this special way with this really wonderful story that uh, combines local history as well. Mm -hmm. And local uh, people that are shown in the book. That's mm -hmm. all the yeah. best. They all uh, help us. Dusty and Janet, congratulations right. on, Thank you so on, much. on your book. Uh, Silas the Great House Cat, everybody out of Galesburg. Good to see you both. <laughs> Glad to see you. Nice job. Yep.